Hey right, guys, today we're going to be replacing the thermostat housing on this Ford Cougar. As you can see, we're really draining the, the coolant. So we're going to strip, get straight into stripping it down. The thermostat housing is in here, so the first thing we want to do is get this air box out of the way with this pipe. We'll probably remove the engine cover. Okay, so I've, I've pulled this off. As you can see, it was a bit tight in there, as you can quite see. It was held on by three rubber bungs that you just have to yank out. And the Jubilee clip here, and the hose detaches from in here there then. Um, but with it all out, here's the thermostat housing here. You can remove the battery for a little bit of extra room, but we don't really need to do that today. So what we're gonna do now is get a pair of pliers. Uh, come on. Clamp down on this hose clamp here. Clamp down on the hose clamp. And there is a little tab that locks that into position. Show you now. So as you can see, there's a little tab that's locked that into position. So we can't just pull that off now. We're going to do the same with the rest of the hoses. Um, so just be mindful of that. So we're going to pull this off. Expect a little bit, well, expect some uh, coolant left in the system. Um, so maybe get something underneath the catcher. And then just pull it off. So as you can see, we pull this one off. Clamp up to one side. Don't lose it. I'm gonna do the same with this bottom one here. This one here's got a clip that I'll, I'll show you in a minute. I might actually have to show you that off the vehicle. Right, we've got it out. It wasn't very easy to film, but basically remove the coolant hose here, coolant hose here, 10 mil bolt here, and then it's it was a 10 mil nut and a, a stud, 10 mil nut, to remove a bracket, and then a 10 mil nut, and then a stud, 10 mil bolt, 10 mil bolt. I've removed the um, coolant temperature sensor there just so I could see how to disconnect the electrical connector onto it. And then just wiggle it back and forth to get it past this. I'll bring on that hose back in there. See it sits up in here. Okay, so it's back on. So what I've done is I've done it with four bolts holding it on and the one bolt back here that's holding the back hose on and I put the electrical connector in. Now what needs to be done is that these hoses need to be reconnected. And then we're going to bleed the system out. I did find that I didn't want to put these studs in blind. So I wanted to put them in and then put the thermostat housing over the top of it. But it wouldn't because this bracket here was in the way. So I pulled that bracket up out of the way. There was um, three T30s holding that on. Which gave me space then to just slide this bracket over the top. So I had the thermostat over the top of the threads. So yeah, let's get these hoses in. Hoses are back on now. We just get the air box back into place and uh, refill it with coolant and bleed it out. So we got it back together. We've got no leaks, which is always a good thing. And now we're just waiting for it to bleed out. So we've overfilled it, uh, ready for the thermostat to open up and let the coolant drain out. Um, so just keep an eye on that so you can top it back up. And we're going to feel the blowers, see that they're consistently warm on the inside.